Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Amy from Neurotic Mom Bakes and I have the coolest hack that I'm going to show you today that is going to save you so much time when it comes to adding flowers to cakes. Really easy, really simple and the only thing you need besides the flowers are just some straws. These are the paper straws that are recyclable, which I like using because they're better for the environment. Couple things you should know before putting flowers on a cake. Number one, it should be the very last thing that you add immediately before the event or immediately before serving. Number one, because flowers, they don't stay fresh very long once you've moved them out of the water. And number two, because these are paper, after, I mean, it would take a while, but after a few days, these would start to get really mushy and in the cake and could break apart. But if it's just short term and you're going to be eating it, you know, within that day, a few hours, you're going to be just fine. So in the past, when cake designers or cake or bakers were adding flowers to cakes, what they would have to do is they would wrap around what's called floral tape. And it's just this special kind of ribbon or tape that you have to wind around, you know, tape it on, wind it around, and then tape it to make sure it adheres before inserting it into the cake. And that is extremely time consuming. So this method is so much easier. Another really important consideration, make sure you know that your flowers are non-toxic. So you can either Google and research that. However, if you don't have the time for that, just know that roses are always a safe bet. Those are going to be just fine. So I've got some roses here and I've got some smaller flowers that I looked at. So everything's good to go. And I just have a basic cake here and we're just gonna take this basic chocolate cake and just completely dress it up with some flowers using straws. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna get my straws and I'm gonna cut them into like two inch pieces, maybe a little longer for just the first initial ones, but really two inches should be fine. For smaller ones, you can do one and a half inches. So I'm gonna just cut those up a little bit. And don't worry about the colors, they're not going to show. Paper ones are quite easy to cut as well. And then I'm just going to start, I'm gonna kind of maybe do like on the side here, kind of do like a moon shape. So I like to start with the bigger flowers and I'm just gonna inspect it. If you see some uh, petals on the edge kind of wilting, just pull those off. I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna cut it down pretty small. I want this stem to be shorter than the straw because I don't want it hanging out the other end of the straw. So I'm gonna cut this quite small. Now here's something you may have to do if it's a really thick stem, you can either get thicker straws but they're harder to hide or just get a peeler and I'm just gonna just peel off the end of this just, just to make sure it fits in. Some of those um, stems are quite thick and they're harder but to fit in but that just took two seconds and it's ready to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna, let's, I'm gonna start by sticking my straw mostly in, and then I'm gonna place this rose in, and then I'm just gonna press down like that. And I mean, so fast, so easy, right? And I'm gonna get, let's do one more kind of bigger one. I'm just gonna check and make sure all the petals look pretty. Cut it down. This one looks pretty. Narrow, I think it's already gonna fit. Yeah, let's do the one right here. And if your flower is um, quite fragile and you can't push it down by holding onto the actual flower, just get some scissors and I'll just kind of press it down, grab the stem and press it down with the scissors like that. Well, there's. Oh, that looks pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna get some smaller ones. Oh, see, some, for some reason this has just a giant thick stem. I don't know why. And I'm just gonna peel it so it's a little more narrow. And let's put one right here. Now this cake isn't huge, so I'm feeling like the smaller flowers are going to look a little bit better. You can also make them smaller by just peeling off the, uh, the petals. Yay, that looks pretty. I like this. Do you talk to yourself when you're decorating or baking? I do all the time. 
My kids will come in. Who are you talking to? Oh, just here's a, just a weird tip. Odd numbers are have been shown to be more pleasing to the eye than even numbers. So go in groups of three, groups of five. Those tend to just, for whatever reason, are more pleasing. Now let's see. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some of these small, pretty ones. These are gonna go a lot faster because they'll easily go in. I like to peel off the leaves too. But trust me, I've I've um, wrapped floral tape around flowers and it takes forever. And it's really frustrating because it's constantly slipping off for me. I don't know, it's just maybe you're really fast and good at it, but I don't like it. It just takes forever. See, I've got those little ones right there. I'm gonna do some more in this gap right here. Just make sure it doesn't stick out the other end. Yep, that's perfect. Oh, that's looking so pretty. There we go. See how fast that was, fast and easy, and then there it's also easy to pull them off when you're ready to eat. Just pull them out, pull the straws out and it's good to go. But that added a whole new level of gorgeous, beautiful onto this somewhat boring chocolate cake. So yeah, this, this one's an easy one to do. So go find some flowers, get your cake, and you can take a basic boring to totally beautiful in, I don't know, that took me 10 minutes maybe? If you haven't heard yet, I have created an entire online cake decorating course from beginner all the way to advanced. It's divided into four separate mini courses that you can purchase individually, or if you wanna buy them all in a bundle, you get a discount. If you do buy the full bundle, you get future access to any cake courses or other baking courses I make in the future for free. And I have some of those courses already in the works. If you would like to see more tutorials like this one, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.